very good morning to everyone so in this video we are going to see how uh, the single crystal silicon is made by using chorelsky method so in the last video we have seen uh, why the silicon is most preferable material for mems fabrication and now how from the raw silicon how the single crystal silicon is generated the process is called chorelsky method in general, the silicon is available in the form of uh, uh, raw silicon, uh, which is the combination of quartzite, coal, coke, wood chips. Uh, that is in the raw form, that is like a sand form. So, for silicon to be used as a substrate, it, it should be in the form of pure single crystal form. So, for that, we are having the process called Chorelsky. So, in that method, uh, uh, we will have a crucible like structure. In the crucible like structure, uh, the raw silicon, which is a combination of all these, will be melted here. In the molten form, when it is in a molten form, uh, the seed cr crystal it is contacted on the molten silicon. When the seed crystal is contacted on the molten silicon, the crystal is formed, the crystalline structure is formed. So the by using the puller like material slowly that pulls the uh, molten silicon upwards because of this process we have pure silicon bolus that becomes solidified right so if you want the diameter of the silicon bolus surface is around 100 mm then based on that the seed crystal size will be selected so the diameter can be varied from 100 uh, mm that is 4 inch to 12 inch in diameters. What is happening in this process? What is happening in the Chorelsky process? The chemical reaction for this process is in the raw silicon, in the melt, in the molten form, the raw silicon has the combination of silicon carbide and then silicon dioxide. While it is melt down, melting down, the process will be uh, disintegrated into three components that is silicon carbon monoxide and silicon monoxide after this chemical process we have solid part only solid part is silicon the other two components of this process are in a form of wafer so the wafer will be evaporated after this form so we have only the solid solidified part is a silicon part so that will be taken out by using the pullers okay so this is how the uh, the single uh, crystal silicon in the, in the form of bolus will be developed okay, by using the puller and puller. So, the, here we can see the structure of the bolus. This is called the structure of the bolus will be. After the bolus will be created, we can, we can make around 30 feet long and 400 kg weight of uh, silicon wafers by using Chorelsky method. So, after this process, the boluses are slight uh, sliced into a thin disc like a wafers like structures by using dimensions okay so the standard size of the wafers available for our mems fabrications are below like 4 inch into 500 micrometer thick 6 inch into 750 micrometer thick 8 inch into 1 mm thick and 12 inch into 750 micrometer thick so in order to create this process uh, this process is called as crystal growing that is the seed crystal silicon is growing in a uh, bolus like structures by pulling away the pullers. Okay. Usually the silicon occurs naturally in the form of silicon dioxide and silicon carbide and uh, like various silicates and hence it must be purified. So in this process, uh, the, uh, the heating process will purify the silicon uh, uh, are about around 95 to uh, 98 percentages of pure polycrystalline silicon will be generated by using this uh, uh, Chorelsky process of uh, uh, gross single crystal silicon. In order to do this process, uh, we need a, a clean class 10 room. That is the clean class 10 room will be used to generate the single crystal bolus silicon. So, the size of the uh, silicon bolus will be decided 
based on the seed crystals. Okay, so uh, this is the arrangements of the Chorinsky method. So it, uh, the heaters will be used to, to uh, uh, heat it up the uh, molten silicon. Okay, the silicon, the raw silicon will be heated up by using the heaters. After the molten silicon uh, happen, uh, the fuller, that seed crystal is touched into the molten silicon and the fuller is slowly pulled up uh, in order to have the crystal formation. So this is how the single crystal silicon is generated. So this is a step-by-step -step process of Chorinsky method. So initially, the seed crystal is touched into the molten silicon. This is the molten silicon. And the fuller is slowly revolved and pulled up. Once it is pulled up, the crystal formation is taken place. So the molten silicon is after crystal formation, it is like a Bolangal-like structure. So, this is the Bolangal-like structure. The final stage of Bolanga, silicon Bolanga will be look like this. Okay, this is how uh, the silicon, uh, uh, single crystal silicon has been generated. Once the Bolanga is created, the Bolanga will be uh, sliced into uh, wafers and the polish, the surface of the uh, Silicon wafers will be polished and it is charted at the wafer stand. So, this is how the wafer will be generated from the Bolanga. So, after uh, the single crystal, from the single crystal field, uh, the molten silicon will be, the Bolanga will be created. After that, the wafer will be created. On the wafer only, we are going to do the IC process or the MEMS process. The fabrication of IC or the fabrication of MEMS will be done on this wafer only. So, this wafers, uh, on this wafer, we can do uh, uh, plenty of components. That is, uh, we can do around 100 ICs from using this uh, wafers or 100 MEMS uh, sensors can be made from this vapor process. So, this is how the microfabrication has been done. This is the overview of microfabrication. From the single crystal seed, the molten silicon, by using the molten silicon, the silicon crystal rod is generated and from the rod, from the bolanga of the silicon, the wafer will be created and from the wafer, the IC fabrication or the MEMS fabrication has been done. So, this is how the single crystal silicon is generated by using Chorinsky method. Hope you understand the concept of how the single crystal silicon is generated. Thank you.